Hello everyone and welcome back to another watch me work on my channel. In today's video I am going to change my nails up and do a Christmas set but in honor of my cat Jake. I adopted him one year ago and I wanted to do something to celebrate and honor him so keep watching. So whether I'm doing a color change or an infill or rebalance, I always start with pushing the proximal nail fold back. And because I don't need a fill, I just basically want to do a color change. I am just taking off the color. There won't be any lifting, so I want to take off very minimal product. And I'm using my Orange Crush from Atwood. I think this is a coarse bit. And I have this on about 23,000 RPM. And just to quickly show you how I do my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand, I will anchor my wrist to the table. I have the e-file in a forward motion and this is all I do, just light feathering tickles with the bit and because I have a gel polish on, the product comes off quite easily. Now I go in with my medium grit zebra sanding band and just get off the remaining color. I am, I think I have this probably on about 14,000 RPM and I'm just tickling around the cuticle area and sidewalls because I don't want to remove a lot of the product. And then when I'm doing my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand, I will put the e-file in reverse, same speed, about 14,000 RPM, and just tickle the remaining color off and any lifting that there might be. But because there is no lifting with this set, I'm just taking off the remaining color. Next I go in with my cuticle bit and I have this at about 9,000 RPM and I'm just kind of lifting the proximal nail fold up and getting any cuticle off the nail plate itself. This step is so satisfying for me. Thank you. 
Then I will take my tapered unicorn bit from Erica's ATA and I have it at about 10,000 RPM and I have it in the reverse motion. With 99% isopropyl alcohol, I will remove all the dust I get underneath my nail as well and just get everything clean for the next step, which is my ONL primer. I'm only putting this on the natural nail itself. Then I go in with Light Elegance Tack, scrub it into the natural nail area only and cure for 30 seconds. Now I'm only using this because I need to use it all up. I don't have the Prep and Prime from Ugly Duckling and I say that because I am going to be using Ugly Duckling Sculpting Gel and I'm going to use blush. That's what's on my nail right now. So first thing I will do, whether I'm doing a fill or just what I'm doing here today, I will go in with a slip layer. The thumb, I'm actually going to do a fill because it is a little thin along the sidewall where the free edge attaches to the natural nail. So I want to give my thumbnail some added strength. Now after the slip layer, I will grab another dollop of gel and put it along the natural nail area towards the proximal nail fold. And just, I'm not painting it forward, but I am floating the product forward because I don't need any product on the free edge. And I like to add a little tiny bit of gel right on the spine area and let it self level out. So I will go on and do my next nail. Now this sculpting gel is a medium viscosity and I can do two or three nails without curing or flash curing. So I'm loving the sculpting gel by Ugly Duckling and blush I have been wearing since the summertime and I absolutely love it. Blush and pink, which I've also used from Ugly Duckling is very opaque and I find that I love using this to sculpt out my nails because I change my design probably once a week or once every two weeks. And in case I'm in the mood for something natural, all I have to do is a quick thin layer and put a top coat on. Or if I want to do a French, I can just paint on a French and I don't have to worry about that added step of adding a sheer nude color. After I cure for one full minute in my UV LED lamp, I wipe the dispersion layer off and I did file off camera just because my camera cannot focus on filing. So I'm not even going to go there. As it is, I struggled with having the art part of this in focus. So for that, I do apologize. So I am going in with the, the new red glitter from Ugly Duckling number 49 and I'm going to paint all my nails except for the accent nail, this color. And as you can see, I don't know where my head was, but I painted my accent finger, my ring finger, the red. I did not mean to. So you'll see me wipe that off and then I will go in with number eight, which is a neutral base. That, yeah, here I go. <laughs> Man, you should have heard, uh, I was so mad at myself. <laughs> I'm painting my middle finger and I'm thinking, okay, why does this look weird? Like something's off and I realized I had painted my ring finger. So I use the striper brush or a detailer two brush from Ugly Duckling to get in nice and close to the cuticle area. I love that smooth, straight, curved, I know straight and curved don't go well, but that crisp, clean look around the cuticle area. So I find that I can do that not with the brush, from the bottle or even a gel brush, but with a detailer brush or the striper brush. Mm -hmm. 
So after a full 60 second cure in my UV LED lamp, I'm going in with a second layer on all 10 nails. And after a full cure of the second layer, I do go in with a top coat off camera and top coat all the nails, but except for my accent nail. So these are the colors I'm going to use for the art on my accent finger. I will list everything in the description box below, including all the brushes I've used. I'm going to start out with the striper and I'm just going to let you watch. And I do apologize when my head does get in the way. I really struggled with doing the artwork on myself, keeping my head away from the camera lens. That was so difficult. Usually when I do artwork on myself or even on tips, I'm right in there. I've got my elbows into my waist. I'm anchored and it was just so so difficult to do this but I did my best and I'm just gonna let you watch I hope you enjoy it and I should mention that I used number 220 which is a charcoal gray or a black jelly gel from ugly duckling and I use this one for shading or any kind of shadowing and I do do <laughs> I do do a flash cure in between steps Sometimes I'll do a full cure, like when I start drawing the stocking, I will do a full cure of what I'm doing right now first before I start painting the stocking.
Okay, painting Jake's name on this was very difficult to do with the camera in my way, so I did redo it before I cured it, just so it would look a little bit better. And then after a full cure, I go in with Ugly Duckling's matte top coat. Cure for one minute, let it cool for about 30 seconds, and then wipe the dispersion layer off. Now I'm using Ugly Duckling's white art gel to create the snowflake. The snowflake. <laughs> My lips must be numb. <laughs> So I am using the Detailer 2 brush to create the snowflake and I will cure for a full minute. Sometimes I'll cure for a minute and a half and then wipe the tacky layer off and I don't top coat because I didn't find that the art gel needed a top coat and I wanted the snowflake to shine a little bit and there's a little bit of sheen to the art gel. So this is it, the finished look, a celebratory festive set for my little kitty Jake. He's filled a huge void in my heart after I lost Bailey and Keela in the past year and a half. So I'm very thankful that we found each other. So I wanted to do something special to honor him and, and celebrate the year that I've had with him. So I hope you've enjoyed this fun set. Like I said, everything that I've used in this video will be listed in the description box below. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. And if you wanna see these pictures, I do have them up on my Instagram at auralite.nails. And my plan for December for content on my channel is to do more holiday themed tutorials. So I hope I will have enough time to do that for you guys. I appreciate all your support this past year and the 10 years that I've been doing this. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And with that said, thanks for watching everyone and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.